Welcome back to another video from Zenji's Yard Style Cooking. Today, what I'll be doing, I'll be doing some barbecue pork chops. All right, and as you can see, I've already went ahead and seasoned my pork. I've done so from overnight. But not to worry, I'm going to walk you through the steps and all the season that I've used. I'm also going to list everything in the description below so you can get the exact measurement. All right, so first thing first, what I did, I went ahead wash my pork yes with lime and vinegar ensure there's no rawness remove all the unnecessary stuff that we don't need to be a part of our meat okay so that is out of the way i've also used some all-purpose seasoning so i did use one tablespoon of maggi all-purpose seasoning i've also used some ginger and garlic and pimento i've used some garlic powder some pimento berries as well as my complete seasoning i've also used some onion powder as well a little bit of paprika you know salt as well as i went ahead and i did use my green blend so i used about three scoop of my green blend also i've used some ginger powder for my pork because to me there is no pork without ginger as well okay and i did use one tablespoon of soy sauce all right you don't have to add the soy sauce but i just added to give it a little bit of color okay so with that out the way now what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and start by searing my meat before i put it in the oven okay so i want to get it nice and golden on each side all right so this is about two tablespoons of regular coconut oil okay but you can use whichever oil of your choice all right so going in now and this can hold about two pieces remember we're not cooking it all the way through okay get it nice okay. yes i think i can hold I can hold a small piece right here all right so i'm just going to turn this up and allow this to sear nicely on both sides okay set is finished and i'm going to remove it but first this is the pyrex dish that i will be using so i'm going in with some olive oil just a little bit to base it some extra virgin olive oil and i'm going to spread it across like so you don't have to add anything to yours but i like to do this part right Okay, so put this aside and then I'm going to place my pork one at a time. You don't need to get anything else dirty, you can just apply it to the same container that you'll be placing it in the oven with. Right? So. so at this point, I'm just going to finish up searing the remaining of the pork. Once that is done, then I'll come back and show you when everything is complete and it's time for it to go in the oven, okay? All right, to the same pot. So all the pork chops are finished searing. To the same pot that I use. The same pot that I use to sear my pork chops. I'm just sauteing some thyme, scallion, and three cloves of crushed garlic, all right? So... This is the seasoning that left back from seasoning the pork. I'm just going in with that. And I'm going to add this to the pork chops and put it in the oven, okay? So I'm going to give this two minutes. Just trying to lock all the flavors in and then add it to it, okay? So I'm not cooking it all. Turning this off. So what I'm going to do, just place this all over my pork. Scrape everything in. So, going to cover this with foil paper and let this bake for an hour and a half. Then it's going to go for two hours, but one and a half hour in the oven. Then the next 30 minutes, that's when I add my barbecue sauce and all that. Okay, so I'm adding also some fresh rosemary to my pork. And you don't have to do the sauteing of the garlic or anything. I just didn't want all this nice flavor to waste. Okay, so 
My oven is already preheated to 180 degrees. That will be about 265. All right, so now that this is finished, going in the oven for an hour and a half, and I'll see you back then, okay? Okay, so now I've already had one teaspoon of soy sauce to one cup of water. Now I'm going in with one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Also adding one tablespoon of rochester cherry sauce, <laughs> if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Okay, and this barbecue is, sauce is not made from scratch, okay? This is store-bought and I'm just spicing it up a bit, alright? So also I'm going in now with my ginger, garlic and pimento spice, about a teaspoon to that. Adding one teaspoon of black pepper as well. Now this is the barbecue sauce that I will be using. This is the sweet teriyaki sauce and I will be using half of the container to that. Going in as well with about three tablespoons of regular soya sauce, barbecue sauce, sorry. Then this part is optional, but I'm just going to be adding three tablespoons of tomato ketchup. As I said, all the measurements will be linked down below. Waiting for it to reduce a little bit more. Once that is done, then I can turn it off and start applying it to my pork and the pork has been in the oven for an hour and 45 minutes to be exact once this is finished then we'll add our barbecue sauce so the sauce is now ready so i went ahead and turned that off and this is how my pork is looking as you can see it's nicely done falling off the bones so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and place it into a clean pirate dish, pyrex dish, sorry, and add the sauce over it, okay? And the remaining in the container, you don't have to throw that away, so you can use that to make gravy with the leftover um, barbecue sauce. Alright? So my pork chops are not perfect, based on the fact that the chops are so huge. I have to cut them in more than one pieces this morning. Right, so just to cut that, you could go ahead and eat that just like that. This is so perfect. I'm just going to pour the sauce over it like so. Tuck this back in the oven for another 20 minutes. And then our barbecue pork is finished. Just to cut that. Oh my gosh. And the pork tastes so delicious, so good. Season all the way through, right? So now with this, you just scrape back the little drippings from the container of the pork. Then just add that to that and you have the perfect gravy to serve over your rice or whatever you're serving it. So there you have it, my delicious barbecue pork. Trust me guys, it tastes so delicious, nice, tender and juicy i'm sure your family would enjoy it okay so today i'll be serving it with some mashed potato so i'm just going to go ahead and plate that up and show it to you guys okay just look at that nice and juicy so there you have it my delicious barbecue pork chops okay and i'm serving it with some mashed potato corn as well as a serving of stir fry veg all right so if you're interested in the corn i can link it below and you can see where i prepare it all right so once again i hope you did enjoy today's video and if you did please remember to go ahead like share and also subscribe okay so until i come your way again with something delicious from my kitchen to yours take care